Hey, what is up guys? Edison here from Move Foundry. This is the first tutorial video that I'm publishing um, for a series of uh, Final Cut 10 shortcut key tutorials. And there are many tutorials out there, but what makes this one a bit different is that uh, this is meant more to be a quick reference guide. So what I mean by that is if there's a particular function that you're looking for and you want to find it very quickly, all you got to do is search for that function down in the description box below and there's a corresponding time code that you can click and then um, you can jump to that particular part of my video. Okay, with that said, I hope uh, you enjoy. Thanks. Uh, we're going to start off this tutorial by showing the different ways that we can drop clips into the storyline. Okay, so for instance, if I go to my browser here and I pick out a, a particular clip that I like, and I'm just going to go through this one here. I'm just going to play this little clip, okay? Okay, I like that, the way it goes, okay? The first one that I'm going to show you is E, which is append to storyline, okay? So what I mean by that is that it is going, to, any clip that you drop or append it to the storyline using the E function is going to drop the clip to the end of your clips that are already sitting in the storyline. For instance, let's just say I have this clip right here, okay? If I press E, it's going to attach it to the end of the last uh, clip that we had, all right? Now, if I want to, let's just say, um, attach clips to the ones on the primary storyline, meaning kind of attach ones like right on top of here, it's going to be Q, all right? So let me find another clip over here that I like. Uh, let me try it, let me, maybe this detail right here. Okay, all right, I like that. I'm gonna press Q. All right, so notice that this clip attaches to the main clip uh, by this little, you see this little nubbin over here? Um, that's where it's attached to the main clip, okay? Now, if you would like to attach the clip um, to the left of the playhead, it's Shift Q, all right? So let me find another clip that I like over here. Okay, let me just say, oh, I like this one here with the glistening powder, all right? I'm gonna press Shift Q. And notice that it, 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 it attaches it to the left of the playhead, okay? Now, I wanna splice this particular clip into two parts while inserting another clip in between. It's a non-destructive but um, a method, but it's going to cut this clip in half, okay? So let me find a clip right here. Oh, I got this nice uh, shot of the welder here. I'm gonna choose the in and out of that, okay? And I'm gonna press W. W is going to drop him right in between the clip while pushing everything down, okay? All right, if for instance, I wanted to drop that clip in, but I wanted to overwrite whatever's sitting on the primary storyline, okay? So whatever the length of the clip is, it would basically just overwrite everything. That is D as in David, all right? So you press that, notice what happened, this clip basically just overwrote everything that was there, okay? And also notice what happens over here. This clip now is attached to this one, okay? And I'm gonna show you what happens here, okay? I'm going to move this clip around, see how um, it kind of, um, the top clip kind of piggybacks off of this one over here, okay? And, and that's gonna be left for a, a later tutorial, all right? Now let's just say this. I want to uh, lift this clip from the primary storyline, okay? The way to do that is command option up arrow, okay? Command option up arrow lifts it from the main storyline and leaves a, uh, a, a blank clip, okay? So you can you know move this around and notice that this clip no longer piggybacks off of this, but now it's piggybacking off of this clip right here, okay? And you can tell like if you move that. And this one is also piggybacking off of this particular uh, clip right here, okay? Conversely, you can drop this into the timeline. However it's positioned, it's going to overwrite uh, this portion of the clip, okay? So you select that and you do Command, Option, Down Arrow, and it drops it down, okay? So now what you can also do is um, decide that you want to paste a clip elsewhere, but you want it to attach to the clip that's sitting on the primary storyline. So let's just say if I want to take this clip and then paste it over here, um, attached much in the same, same way this is. The way to do that is first you select the source clip, you press Command-C to copy it, 
park your playhead um, where you would like for that clip to be placed and you press option V okay and so now you can tell that it is now sitting on top of this one you know via this um, uh, junction point right over here now I'm going to show you how to uh, drop clips while isolating only the video and audio by default Final Cut 10 allows you to drop both the audio and video components of a particular clip so what I mean by that is that if we have this shot of this man okay uh, if I drop it in there you will see that both the video and the audio components are uh, by default going in but what if you want only the video component you're going to toggle it by pressing shift 2 okay and that's what I just did and again I'm going to drop it I'm going to append it to the storyline right here and you notice that it's now only the video without the audio waveforms in there and if I play it back you can tell that there's no audio in there okay now conversely if I want only the audio portion in there okay the way to do that is shift 3 all right and I just press that now I'm going to drop that audio clip right here okay by pressing E and notice that it's only the audio clip without the video okay now I can go back to my default of both dropping both the audio and video clips by pressing shift 1 and again now you see both the audio and video clips in there okay now the final thing on this tutorial that I'd like, I'd like to show you is um, replacing a particular clip so let's just say if you have a couple of clips in there okay and I'm just going to add let's just say three clips okay and I want to I want to decide to replace this clip uh, with uh, let's just say this uh, sh cool shot of the powder here just kind of slowly falling in on that um, um, aluminum dish all right okay so I've already I've uh, marked the in and the out of this particular clip and I want to replace this clip okay with the new clip so the way to do that is um, you uh, and, and this is what I like to do is use the uh, shortcut C to select a clip on the primary storyline okay so wherever your playhead is parked when you press C it's going to select that particular clip that's sitting in the primary storyline okay so I'm going to uh, go to uh, the beginning of this one here the middle one and that's the one that I'm going to replace and the shortcut is option R okay now what happened over here with option R you're going to maintain the uh, length of the original clip meaning the the, uh, the new clip is going to stretch or shorten uh, in order to fit the length of the old clip okay now what if I wanted to force uh, the predefined length of this clip into this one here that would be shift R okay and as you can see this is considerably uh, longer um, and it's been added to you know this uh, storyline right here okay all right guys that's it I hope you enjoyed your uh, tutorial hey guys thanks for watching this video um, if you have any comments or if you think that I missed any particular shortcut keys that are uh, helpful and relevant to this particular tutorial let me know in the comments below thanks